the hee haw, dude. It's time for Donkey of the Day. I'm mean, ain't trying to be Donkey of the Day no more. They should be embarrassed by what they already did. I I'm not making these people do these things. Called Donkey of the Day, and it really caught me off guard. Damn, Charlemagne, who got the Donkey of the Day today? Donkey of the Day for Friday, October 19th, goes to a Houston pastor by the name of Ralph D. West. And oh, that D might stand for dirty. See, most people go to church and they expect the pastor to lay hands on them. Uh, the laying on of hands is both a symbolic and formal method of invoking the Holy Spirit, mostly during baptisms and confirmations, healing services and blessings. Well, Pastor Ralph D., and oh, that D might stand for dirty Was laying more than them holy hands on people in his congregation Let's go to KPR See NBC2 for the report, please. Attorney Sean Murphy is speaking for his client, who a jury found contracted genital herpes from Reverend Ralph D. West II mm. after meeting off Facebook. As seen here on the Church Without Walls website, he's listed as the Eldridge Campus Minister. The things that we look at for cases like these are essentially four things. Is the defendant infected and how can we prove it? Did he know he was infected? And you know, how do we prove and do we have evidence of that? Not only does Murphy say they were able to prove those facts but also that Wes lied when asked about having herpes and that he gave it to his client after they had unprotected sex in March of 2018. She got an outbreak two or three days later, um, went in and got tested, and, you know, from there, able, you know, through the medical records, able to identify that he was the source of it, in part because she hadn't been with anybody else. She had had a prior negative test. Murphy says subsequent conversations supported the claims. When she asks, you know, where did this come from? His response was his son's mother. He adds Bang. there were also emails between West and his client. Where she accuses him of knowing he had it, of giving it to her, um, you know, and there's other allegations about not caring about me, that kind of thing. <sighs> Raphael Douglas West, known as Pastor Ralph D, and O to D definitely stands for disgusting. See, most pastors have a spiritual gift. A pastor is God gifted to develop relationships with others and then assume the responsibility for each member's spiritual welfare. You would hope, you would actually want, you would pray that the pastor's spiritual gift is indeed a gift that keeps on giving. But note, I said spiritual gift, not sexual. The sexual gift that keeps on giving is herpes. Now, I'm not here to herpes shame anyone, okay? I did some research, and by research, I meant Googled, and it said over 195 million people in America may have genital herpes. So, drop on the clues bombs for all our listeners out there with a bad case of the bubble nuts, okay? Brothers, how y'all feel? Sisters, y'all all right? Uh, I see you out there dealing with that herpinator 1000, all right? Drop on the clues bombs for all the ladies out there dealing with the herpinator 1000, okay? It's time for the herpinator. It's time for the herpinator. Boom, boom. It's time for the herpinator. Now, I know that pastors love to do beneficial things for their congregation. See, Pastor Ralph D, and that D definitely stands for detestable, was doing what we call here at Hee Haw Missionary Baptist, preaching and skeeting, all right? Spending time with his cock, I mean flock, all right? <laughs> Leading with love, but clearly no glove. The man was out here sharing herpes instead of sharing the gospel. Do you know this man's church was called the Church Without Walls? I'm not making this up, people. You heard it in the news report. It was called the church without walls. I bet the woman that he probably shared herpes with wish she didn't have walls either. Okay, because when that herpes gets inside said vagina, where do you think it's going to go, huh? Don't act stupid with me now. It hurts when you pee because you got sores all on your interior walls, on your vulva too, but definitely on those walls. How convenient for you, pastor, to have a church without walls, but the woman you infected doesn't have that luxury. Can I get a bump, bump, bump from the congregation, please? Somebody out there right now dealing with a breakout, and they understand exactly where I'm coming from. Now, I need to ask all my Christians with herpes one simple question. Do you have faith? Do you believe that you can be healed in Jesus' name? Do you stand in front of the mirror, genitals looking like an Oscar Maya olive loaf, and say, heal me in Jesus' name? Well, let me be the first to tell you, all prayers to heal herpes go to Jesus' spam folder. All right, Jesus got much more pressing issues to deal with than the bumps in the alley. All right, your bumps in the alley can wait. Now, this is what I find extremely interesting about this story, and it's something all God-fearing individuals can learn from. All of this could have been avoided if all parties involved were actually living how the Bible says you should live. Ain't that something? If the pastor was simply living by the word of God, 
He wouldn't be out here tithing and offering herpes to people in his church. What's that saying? A uh, sin is not simply making bad choices or mistakes. Sin is having the desire in our hearts to do the will of the enemy of God. You chose to do the will of the enemy of God. Now they say no matter the, the decisions you've made, Jesus loves you and will forgive you. It's a beautiful thing. But always remember, God forgives, herpes don't. All right, you got to pay this woman $2.5 million. Do you know how much vowel tracks you can buy with $2.5 million? More importantly, Pastor Ralph D, and the D definitely stands for this nigga. Do you know how much relief $2.5 million could provide the members of your church? How many people in your church praying for a blessing and you out here spreading glitter? Yeah, herpes is glitter because a comedian named Dimitri Martin once said, the thing about glitter is if you get it on you, be prepared to have it on you forever because glitter doesn't go away. Glitter is the herpes of craft supplies. So if glitter is the herpes of craft supplies, then herpes is just glitter. And that's what you was out here putting on people. Do you know when people ask to describe you in one word from now on, that word is going to be herpes? Personally, I think when you give someone herpes and you get charged for giving them herpes and you and, and, and you have to give them $2.5 million or any type of settlement like that, you should have to walk around in public with a, herp, a herpes belt, okay, from the makers of Hermes. You should have to wear a herpes belt. Hear me out, okay? Same concept, same mm -hmm. look, same feel, same H. It's just covered in tiny little clusters of rubies all over the H to symbolize uh, outbreaks, okay? And that lets everybody know that it's time, time for the herpinator. It's, it's, it's time for the herpinator. It's time for the herpinator. Please give Pastor Ralph D. West the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. You are the donkey of the day. You are the donkey of the day. You Now, Charlemagne, I got to make one correction. What? You said the D stands for this nigga. It's this nigga, not this. I said this. No, you didn't say this. I mean, this. you got a list, but I can't understand what you're saying. Your throat messed up this morning. Nah, my throat's better now. So you can get with this or you can get with that. <laughs> okay? All right. Well, and thank by you the way, that, when you got the kind of tongue I got, anytime you say anything like t, 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 this, that, it all sounds like I'm staying it with a D. It sounds like you're spitting, too. Mm-hmm. Probably, yeah. Mm. All right. Well, thank you, Charlemagne, for that donkey today. When we come back, South Carolina rapper Nick Grant will be joining us. You and we're going to get to him next. So don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.